but then when I buy them from a dealership, you kind of don't think about that. I feel like when you buy from a dealership, you're like, right, it's a proper dealership. You ain't got to worry about it. I don't know, it's kind of, I you, feel like you, they should have done that check. Right, so I don't know how I'm gonna cram all of this in one video, so much to talk about. So uh, this lad behind me here, Ben, shout out to Ben. Um, <laughs> ben tagged me in his Instagram story the other day because he wanted to get his car on my channel because he thinks his car's amazing. To be fair, it's a cool car. He wants to show the world his car. So I've never had one of these on my channel before. We're gonna do a video on the car today, but also what's quite interesting about Ben is he's a bit of an entrepreneur. He's on it. We'll, do you know what? We'll get my head out of the way shortly. Uh, he's got a YouTube channel as well, haven't you, Ben? Yeah. He's got your own YouTube channel. This, this lad's on it. And there was something else I wanted to mention. Oh yeah, you had a problem with this car. You had a problem with this car when you bought it. And I think that's something else we want to talk about in this video as well, right? So let's get on with it. Right, so Ben, thanks for coming down today. It's good. Good to meet you, man. Yep. So we're doing an episode of Meet the Owner Of, which I've yep. been doing a few lately, yeah? Yep. And you tagged me in your Instagram story because yep. you wanted to show the world your car, yeah? yeah. And I replied, I said, do you know what, let's do it. I've never never done a video on one of these before. It's a proper cool car. Yep. And um, tell, tell us about it, what is it? Polo. So it's a Polo GTI 1.8 DSG. Mm -hmm. um, it's got a stage one map on the moment. Um, about 240 brake. Cool. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much a straight pipe apart from the catalytic converter, so very loud. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it should be a bit of fun, front wheel drive. It's yeah. different, man. Yeah. Like, I, I seem to, obviously, I, I do a lot of Golf R content on my yeah. channel. Uh, this is essentially a small Golf R, isn't it? Yeah, it so pretty much is a mini mini Golf R, mini Golf GTI. And I'm guessing, you, how old are you? I'm 20. So you would have gone for this car because yeah. of your age group as well? Actually, I couldn't get insured on a Golf R, so. Did you try and get an insurance quote on a Golf R? Six grand. Really? And, and then I tried to get an insurance quote on a 140, and that was 11 grand. Oh so, my God. Uh, so how much is the insurance on this then? 1600. Oh, that's a lot brilliant, better, isn't a lot it? better with all the mods on it. Literally, couldn't ask for better. Cool. Better, better insurance. So. Oh, that's wicked. So, where did you come from today? So, I came from Kent. Kent, so yeah. About two and a half hour trip. Couple of hours, yeah. yeah. Fair play, man. You got it bang on time as well. Yeah. Well, I was actually early. I was there at ten. Well, I was at the McDonald's. Oh, you went McDonald's down the road, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said you give the car a little yeah, wipe down as well. Sure it's clean. So. It's looking really, really nice. So, how long you had it for? So, I had it for just over nine months now. Okay. So. And you, you, when you bought it, you had an issue? Yeah, I had a couple of issues with it. The seat was teared and the mileage might be blocked. I'm not too sure, but... Um, so you, I think what I just said to you just now, yeah, what yeah. we can do is we can do a HPI check shortly yeah. and yeah. see if we... You yeah, know, it'd be it, interesting to see what is actually up with it. I mean... So yeah. when you bought it, um, you bought it, you say, from a main dealer, yeah? Yeah, yeah it was from a main Renault dealer. Mm -hmm. So I'm not quite sure why they would sell me a car like that, but... We can have a look. We'll have a look. That's, do you know what? It's an interesting conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, me being a dealer, I can give yeah. my sort of perspective on it as well. Yeah. So we'll have a look. Check the HY first, and then uh, yeah, continue that conversation shortly. So uh, from factory, what power do these cars these run? These are 192 from factory. Oh, right, and so about 250 newton meters of torque on the DSG. Mm -hmm. The manuals are probably about 300 uh, newton meters, but the same power. Power so the manuals so. can tolerate a bit more yeah, power. Yeah, the manuals are better for these cars. The DQ250 is just not known for. Not liking the power, but once you get a map on it, it's perfect. So. Wicked, man. Wicked. I'm actually looking for. Well, you when you tag me in the story, yeah. the noise it was making, it's it sounds loud. wicked, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> oh, I don't know what that very is. loud. Very loud. Yeah, it's yeah. a proper cool little car. So. Let's quickly talk about you. So you've mentioned, obviously you've got your YouTube channel. Yeah. Uh, which I'm like massively supportive of, man. I know what it's like being a small not, YouTuber. Not easy. Growing. Yeah. Even at my level, it's hard work. It is. Getting results is different. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's a mission, man. So yeah, yeah. I respect that you're, you know, you're doing YouTube. You spend channel. a lot of time editing and you get like two views. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's a struggle at this point. But it is a real struggle. Yeah, yeah. So your content is dominantly about the polo? Yeah, oh, yeah, everything done to it is, you can find it on my channel. So everything, front split art, side skirts, spraying the wheels tuning it everything's on the channel you've done it all yeah, yeah the whole even process. pov drives 
well it's done. A lot, a lot of car content. So. so you bought the car completely standard. Completely standard. And all these bits you've done yep, in the time you've had it, and it's all documented yep. on your channel. Yep. Everything. Wicked. And it's DSG, DSG Panther. Panther yeah. Where's the word Panther come from? So I like the cars to be all blacked out, and Panthers are normally black. So. How did I not guess that? And it's DSG. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah of every course. Car the car I've got to be a DSG now. So. Yeah. Well, you'd have to just change your name accordingly, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you've gone for black wheels. Yeah, black wheels. Just the whole black look blacked out black windows done the the wind mirrors in silver just mm -hmm. to kind of give it a golf r vibe mm -hmm. obviously the golf r come with a silver um, wind mirror cap so yeah I to paint them myself but mate you've done them yourself sure i get roasted in the comments for it do you know what people can feel free to roast you in the comments but yeah, you're a 20 year old lad you're yeah. on it you're doing your thing yeah right, and, and you're trying to watch your pennies naturally yeah? yeah 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 um which we can talk about as well so for for, for a living what do you do so i actually sell um trainer care products so stop your shoes from getting muddy and stuff. And rightly, we are in the water. So you've got fresh shoes on. We've got dirty puddles everywhere, bingo yeah, dust yeah. everywhere. Uh, but it don't matter because you're the man who cleans shoes. But we've got yeah, the products yeah. for shoes, yeah, yeah? yeah? we've got them in the boots, so. Wicked, that's proper yeah, yeah. good. So you do, that's that's your main thing, That's yeah? my main thing that helped me um, get this. So, and then I'll feed YouTube. But hopefully I can balance them to be both my incomes. And all the money from YouTube will just go back into modding this and making more content for everyone so mate i absolutely rate that man 20 years yeah. old that is absolutely when you watch this video back when you're 35 years old like me now yeah i have my rs3 button you will have your rsv you'd be bloody proud of yourself man well okay. done 20 years old thank you, thank you. well done that's wicked and um yeah so i will put a link for your youtube channel yeah, thank in the description you, below because I, I want to like support and encourage Hopefully we people get to 2k 2k is that so, the goal I'm yeah so close but it's 2000 subscribers yeah, yeah? So close. that's my goal we'll do that off the back of this video so uh you've also done uh maxton design design splitter kit yeah. all the way around maxton yeah whole kit the diffuser and Do, like. i like the look yeah, at that yeah, the yeah. diffuser it's man missing a middle bit because it did have a rain light on it but fell off so <laughs> have, to, have to put that back on at some point yeah oh m3 just arrived yesterday look at that finger plate if only that was a real number plate it actually ain't it's just for photos um do you know what i'm gonna just point the camera at that car a little bit more look how good that car looks anyway um so you've got the, the yeah the rear diffuser the rear spoiler yep, yep um from maxon as well but that's for the newer polo so that spoiler isn't technically meant to fit this car mm -hmm. it's actually from the aw polo which is the one after this um but i made it work mate it looks proper good doesn't it yes yeah, it's, it's it sort of goes well with it is, have you gone for an OEM Plus look yeah, purposely? More, or is yeah, it, I mean, I kind of want it to be more low key and just blacked out. So kind of just, you know, you kind of just see it there and then it's not there. So. Yeah, and you, have you gone for the rear lights as well? Yeah, they are from VLAN. So they're VLAN sequential rear lights. And, and, and they've got like... Yeah, they're fully tinted and swipey Audi things. So. That's a nice feature. But now I need them on the front because now the front lights don't do it. So I kind of... But do you know what? If we could walk over to the car, I was going to say, yeah, these headlights to me like as a you know you know i pick cars to yeah, pieces yeah. yeah they're a massive feature on this car for a v like this is ultimately the a, 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 a gti it's yeah. a voxel corsa competitor yeah much, for, in yeah. a german yeah. world yeah. right yeah. them headlights are a bloody work of art even the way the red line goes through into the headlight and then at the back end of it here you've got this small red feature i'm guessing you've put these yeah, these eye, eyelids on yeah aggressive i think it is such a bloody cool looking car man so you, you've also gone for 4d plates as well yeah just like loads, the, loads yeah, of little touches. Just little thing. The little things make the the bigger things. So I also blacked out the uh, VW badge as well. That's plasti dipped. Oh, nice. We've got blacked out wheels and EBC yellow pads on it as well. So important. Just just help stop a little bit more of the stage one. So yeah. So yeah. exhaust. You've done the exhaust. Yeah. Um, exhaust is straight pipe. Stage one Revo tune. Yeah, and then TVS stage three gearbox map. Mate, no. and you said the gearbox prior to having that map wasn't very good. No, it was slipping, it was horrible, it was clunky, like pulling away. Now, it's a little bit clunky still, you can't fix the gearbox completely, but in sport mode, the gear changes are just pretty much seamless, so. That's brilliant. Better now, so. so the gearboxes you say are a bit of a weak point on yeah, these cars, everyone yeah? everyone probably will comment right now, you should have got a manual, but it's, it's, the DSG was better for me because I wanted an auto, so yeah. it's the cheapest auto you could probably get with the performance, so. That's what I went with. We're going to do draggy times as well, yeah? That'd be interesting. We've got to do that. <laughs> Tried to get mine working, but it didn't. So yeah. it'd be interesting to see what it does. You want to get into the sixties, yeah? Yeah, yeah, That's sixes. the goal. That'd be... Wicked. Goal. Cool. Let's jump in, hear it, and we'll hit the road, yeah? Let's do it. 
cool. So interior is nice. It is so much like a Golf Four in it. Like it is, obviously, yeah. I drove to work in mine today. So the, the infotainment system. It's just it's just someone's gone. Oh, just identical. made it smaller, pretty. Much. Yeah, yeah, exactly that. You've got heat seats as well. Yeah, heat seats. Little sport button up there. Yeah, that's got uh, adaptive suspension on it, so it goes a lot stiffer when you put it in sport mode. Oh, uh, wicked. Parking sensors, mm -hmm. traction, pretty much all you need. And then we'll see DSG. You can put it into manual. Um, yeah, then we've got Apple CarPlay and stuff like that on it. So you've got the performance monitor as well, so that's mm -hmm. custom. That isn't from factory, you have to get that added. So, and then steering wheel. Steering wheel, so let's talk about that because um, it's obviously been retrimmed. Yep. Who done a retrim? <laughs> By me. That is so cool, <laughs> man. It's oh, I, I, mean, I, wish, I, wish it, I wish it was better, but. Nah, that's wicked it you've done cool. that. And it don't need to be better. You... Paddles on the back as well. Yeah, I see the paddles. These ones aren't stick-ons. I don't know if you if you've got any in your Golf R or... Oh, I've seen the stick-on ones. Yeah, oh, I don't I, like them. I actually changed the whole unit on this. So Good. This is a whole new paddle. But yeah, and then we've got a red sticker on the thing as well. And then red sticker down here. So it just covers up the thing. But obviously, eventually, I want to get a whole new airbag mm -hmm. and a whole new steering wheel. But for now, this is just the look that I've... I've gone with for a bit, so. Mate, it looks wicked. I think you, I rate it. I rate that you've done that with the steering wheel. I like the look of it. And you know, who the hell attempts to do their own steering wheel? Nah, not, not a lot of people, that's why I've done it. But I've got a lot of stick for it because it's not the best. But I mean, it hasn't came off, so. Mate, I don't think anyone deserves to get stick for trying. I think trying, you tried, you've done it. Like that's, what is it? 80% good, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, At least, I mean, it's, it's, not, it? it's not like the worst thing in the world. Nah, like, it's, it not, it's not tearing off. It's not, I mean, look, it's. It's all right. Hey, so you've gone over the lever, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So you just stitch in and out, in and out. It's, it's <laughs> a long pro. I had to get my mum to help me. No, it was wicked. So bad, <laughs> yeah, wicked. She helped me out with it. So it is what it is. But. So let's go back to the uh, the mileage situation. So you, yeah. you, you bought the car. Obviously, you bought it on because it's got low mileage. What was the mileage when you bought it? Uh, it was 19,500 something, or roughly like that. Okay. So, so it's really, really, really low. Really low. That's why I thought I got a good deal. But How much you paid for the car? 16,500. Okay. But then knock two and a half grand off that because I exchanged it for the Corsa. Oh, you had a Corsa, you so, probably exchanged your Corsa yeah, in. Yeah, so okay. probably, probably not not that bad money really for the mileage and for the spec. Well, and it's main dealer, naturally a main dealer price is going to yeah, be a bit yeah. higher than, than anyone else. So, yeah. um, and it's, what's, the, what's the mileage on now? It is on, it is 36,760. So I've, <laughs> I've done almost 16,000 miles. You've done it. a lot of miles in it. Yeah. And your concern is that you feel like this car's had a mileage blocker. Yep. What's your reason for that? So when I looked it up on uh, the Gov website, it mm -hmm. goes from 14,000 uh, on the MOT to mm -hmm. 28 and then back to like 19,000, which is what I bought it on. So I'm not too sure whether it's been clocked or someone's put the wrong M MOT mileage oh, in. That sounds to me, if it's gone from 14 to 28 and then back down to 19, yeah. the second, the middle one could have been 18, couldn't it? Yeah, and they put I a two thinking. instead of a one. Because Possibly. the person that had this was on furlough, so they couldn't afford to run the car. Mm -hmm. So that's why I reckon they might have put the wrong mileage on the MOT. Because Possibly. he wasn't driving it that much or the lady wasn't driving it that much. So. Hopefully that is the. But then your other concern was the wear on the bolster on the driver's yeah, on seat. Yeah, the bolster seat is quite. It's, it's bad, tall, but we isn't not, it? We knocked him off for that, so. But that could be, they, they do suffer quite bad. It'd be interesting yeah, to see do. if anyone's watching the video and who's got a Polo with yeah. similar mileage to know if that, that if, if their seat is their seat's as well. But, but then you don't even know who drove it. Like no. it could be a, a small lady where the seat's really far yeah, forward because, and when she's getting in. On the bum bit here, it's lost a lot of its like um, foam in it. So I'm not too sure if she's just. Well, it, might, it could have been an overweight person, yeah, couldn't exactly. it? exactly. Could have just stretched it out or. Know, Should we do a HPI and see what HPI is yeah, saying? If it does say that it's got a mileage discrepancy, which it should do really, yeah. it doesn't necessarily mean it's been clocked. That's one thing I would say. So can you get it sorted you out? You can get that sorted, but when there's an issue with an MOT, you can't, if there's been one done since then, you can't get that corrected. So once you've done another well, MOT after it, you're, 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 you're pretty stuck. much stuffed, yeah. Oh, but <laughs> let's just do so, if I add, NMR check, we'll do a spec check, we'll do a normal one that I normally do, and then we'll do a, a, a cap black book valuation as well uh, to see what the values are saying. So, um, what's the full red on it? LR16 yep. CFO. Cool, let's see what, see what it's saying. I'm worried about it now. <laughs> Suspense. <laughs> Uh, so, a couple of markers, it's got finance on it, which you know, obviously. Yeah, obviously, know about that. Um, and then the NMR check has failed. It's failed an NMR check. So what you can do in this situation is you can do an investigation, yeah? And they can look into it, but we already know what they're gonna come back with. Yeah. So the only way you'd ever prove if this car either 
has been clocked, it could have been clocked after the 28,000, yeah. would be going to that MOT garage and asking them if they remember, and there's no way they would. Yeah. And even if it had have been clocked, or it might have had a mileage blocker, yeah. I don't think it's done many more miles than what you believe it's done anyway. So no, my no. opinion is, I think- The service history on the book lines up properly. That's the weird thing. Is it VW history? Yeah. I think it's full, fine. Full VW history. There is another way you can do it. You put it into VW. I think, I don't know if they can do it on all cars, but some cars they can read the mileage on the gearbox and oh, then that will okay. tell you a, yes, a definite figure yeah, of the yeah, mileage. Yeah. That's also a possibility. So I could get them to do that and that might sort it or yeah. get the myths out of the way and see what it comes back with. I think had you flagged this up as an issue initially when you bought the car, yeah. then you could have had a it bit of- It is my thought. I, I kind of, but then when I buy them from a dealership, you kind of, don't think about that. I feel like when you buy from a dealership, you're like, right, it's a proper dealership. You ain't got to worry about it. I don't know. It's kind of, I you, feel like you, they should have done that check surely before they bought it. Or I think the bottom line is for you, yeah? Yeah. You, you're happy with the car. Oh, I'm more than- And you've had it car, yeah. nine months, you know. Modded the crap out of it as well, so. Exactly that. But <laughs> even prior to that, and it, the mileage is still just a question mark. None of, no one really knows. And even yeah. from the dealer's point of view, they don't actually know if it's definitely, if anything, it's likely that it hasn't been clocked. Yeah, it's been looked after. It's been looked so after. It's a tidy VW car. History, so the wear, wear on the interior is good. Yeah, like I said, yeah. full, full history. It's good. So let's quickly look at the the book values. So um, based on it, scroll down. See if we can adjust the mileage back to thirty. It won't let me go thirty. If it had have had fifty thousand miles today, the retail value would be twelve and a half grand. But um, obviously, it's done less than that. Yeah. So I would say the retail value today would be in the region of. 14 grand, maybe a bit more yeah, than that. Yeah, I mean, it sounds about right. Yeah. For the spec, it's got most things, I mean. Yeah, should we, and the spec levels. The so Apple CarPlay wasn't on the spec check. So it would be- Obviously you put that in yourself. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the options that this car's got, so it's got 1,800 quid worth of options, 20,000 pound new this car was. Special paint, pearlescent paint apparently, 545 pounds. Parking pack, which yeah. you just mentioned, 435 quid. Winter pack, 360 pound. Sports performance pack with dynamic yeah, chassis that's, control that's, that's, that's yeah yeah. Button, yeah that's good um electronically folding exterior mirrors that's a nice option that's as well nice, yeah i didn't know that was a optional that's extra. good uh front armrests with storage compartment oh well i didn't get one <laughs> that's weird <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even got it. when i picked it up <laughs> but i did think i was like why is there no armrest in here well do you know what so it's a good spec car how much was the um armrest i'm intrigued about <laughs> the armrest <laughs> was 110 pounds oh 110 pounds 110 pounds that must be a nice armrest. That must be a nice <laughs> It's worth it though, isn't it? I love an armrest. So you have to get one. Cool, let's get the engine started. Have a little listen to it, give it a rev as well, and yep. then um, we'll hit the road, yeah? Yep. Seven point five three, and we've just decided that we're not going to do any more runs. Yeah, yeah? just because of the, the gearbox and 
I don't want you to break your car <laughs> no, no, no. live on YouTube. That wouldn't be cool. No. And uh, yeah, well, it'll get us views though. It'll get us views. Like yeah, yeah. Six, <laughs> yeah, the, the famous RS6. Go. Oh. But that's pretty good. And even if you look at the leaderboard, maybe six, getting into six was a bit optimistic. Yeah. Um, but if you look at the leaderboard, we're right next to 7.53. A, a Mugen Civic Type R, they're 200 brake horsepower. I'm quite happy with that. I mean, it's Type R at the end of the day. I think, I think that's so. good. I think that's really good. Cool, I'll put a link for your YouTube in the description below. Thank you. Um, good luck with everything. Thanks for coming down. It's, been, right. a, it's been a wicked video. Good video, yeah. Uh, yeah, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit like, hit subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in the next one.